This restoration is brought to you by Audible. This is Audible. Steven and I are on our last leg of a 3,000 mile road trip. This is the second road trip that long we've taken this year. And as much as I love music and Steven, when you're on these long road trips, listening to the same music over and over again gets boring. And also, let's just say, things can get a little weird. You know why I pulled you over? Uh, no sir, I don't. I need to see your license and registration, boy. What I prefer to do is to listen to an audiobook because you tend to get lost in the story and time flies by. Before you know it, you've got another book under your belt and your trip is over. I've been with Audible since 2010 and it's incredible. I've got an audio library that's through Audible is massive. Listening to audiobooks motivates us, inspires us, even brings us closer together. There's no better place to listen than Audible because now Audible members get even more. Exclusive audio fitness programs, audiobooks, Audible originals, and more. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet and now with Audible originals, the selection has gotten even more custom with content made for members. Every month, Audible members get one credit good for any audiobook they choose, plus two Audible originals from a changing selection that they can't get anywhere else. They also get access to audio fitness and health workouts created exclusively for Audible. Plus, 
your books are yours to keep. With Audible, you can go back and re-listen anytime, even if you cancel your membership. Didn't like your audiobook? Exchange it. No questions asked. Get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com forward slash the good of the land or text good of the land to 500 500. Once again, that's audible.com forward slash good of the land or text good of the land to 500 500 to get started. show you my technique I learned from Hand Tool Rescue. That's an air tank. Rolling. In lieu of boring painting footage, which I 
totally didn't lose. Please enjoy this basket of puppies. Plus sports. I mean, everybody loves sports. <laughs>
I see you, young man. <laughs> Trouble. Don't worry, guys, it's not gear oil. Belt needs to be about a half inch shorter. Huh? Belt needs to be about a half inch shorter. I wanted it loose. We got a little more. I mean, I can stretch it. Oh. You wanted it loose, but you got what you wanted. You guys tighten it up a little bit? Nah, it's fine. Well, Pops, uh, what do you think? Guy yeah, looks great. You like it? I love it. All right. <laughs> so he immediately broke out all of his airbrushes, and he started checking it out. What do you think about the air pressure? It's great. Yeah? yeah I mean, it was blowing in my ear, and ain't had no blowing in my ear in a long time. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> honestly, if you'd shave your ears, it'd probably happen. Yeah. <laughs> It's getting close to the 30th, so, you know, the werewolf comes out. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, that full moon. <laughs> what you got there? It's an Iwata. Ooh, Iwata. Oh, that's nice. This makes me happy. Guys, this is the man that taught me all this crap. Man. Now I can do some airbrushing. Heck yeah, I want to see it. I want to try some ghost flames one of these days. <laughs> Uh, if anyone could do it, you can. Oh, man, that's going to be great. Well, here you go. I, I don't have to hook it up to my 80-gallon. Hey, wait a minute. It's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Yes. yeah, happy birthday to you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> now, I should have did the colors red and yellow or something for you, but I don't know. Those oh, pastels, like they fit. You know, they that do fit the time pretty. period. Did you see the chrome fins? Yeah, I like the way you've done that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not many of you know that I'm a body guy, and uh, I've been a body guy for a while. And this project's next, 1938 Chevy Coupe. The one thing that I don't like about this is the way the hood is, man. This thing's pretty gnarly. So what I'm going to do is probably one piece of the hood and have it fold up. And I may have the whole grill fold up and leave the fenders. So the fenders will stay there and the whole thing will pitch. But I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to strip it completely down. And uh, Steven and I are talking about what we want to put in it. It's a great little car, great restoration project. And um, she's a beaut, man. She's a coupe, too. So she's got the cute little bud on her. There you go. And, uh, yeah, we'll get it figured out. You know, those tailpipes stick out far enough. <laughs> so I'll be hauling this one down to my shop somewhere in the next two or three months. And we're going to start on this. I'll probably spend a month on this project, get it all knocked out, get it absolutely completed. Back on the road and back over to my dad. Here's another project he has right here. He's got them everywhere. I'm just going to keep stealing them. Here's a Z. I think I'll take this one, too. He's already got a 350 in there. He pulled the dash out for some reason. I don't know why, but he's got a 350 inside. There's a Hornet. I want to take that, too. That was my aunt's car. It had originally 30,000 miles on it. This is one he's building right now. It's just something to play with. Pulls wheelies like a beast. He didn't like the front end, so he's redesigning that. Pretty cool. Not really a VW trike guy. What about you, Steve? Um, I really like them. I'll never build one. I might trade for one eventually and like buy it just to drive it around for like a month or something. But I think they're really, really cool, but they're not really my cup of tea. He's also got a 69 Triumph Bonneville 650 in there that uh, I had the engine restored for him about 10, 15 years ago. And he's never really done much with the bike. He's rode it down the road once. I'm going to steal it from him as well. And I'm going to take that down. And I want to put my own flair on it and uh, bring it back to him. I want him to be uh, in retirement. I want him to be able to actually enjoy his tools, toys. So anyway, all right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Really kind of out of my element with this restoration because I'm not in my shop. I don't have my tools, but it was still fun nonetheless. I would say we definitely cut some corners on this one. Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. I mean, it is what it is. It actually works great, works fantastic, and it would be great for, like, a tattoo shop or maybe an airbrush artist. So, link in the description. Make sure you guys go out and tell Audible thank you. And also, it's, like, free. Sign up for a month. I've seriously had Audible forever. It's fantastic stuff. We'll see you guys next time.